thanks for joining me today. This is Kita. Welcome to Kita New here where we review natural, unique, and eco-friendly products. Um, today we are talking about U-Body. If you haven't heard of it, that's okay. I hadn't heard of it either <laughs> until recently and they were doing a giveaway on Instagram. And so um, the first hundred people that signed up got a free starter kit and you only had to pay shipping. So I paid $8 and some change for shipping and they sent me their starter package and that is what we are going to talk about today. So um, if you look at their website and I have it here on my iPad, Ubody is a company, um, it looks like it's founded by a woman, Heather, and they basically what they say is that um, Ubody was founded with the idea that body wash could be more than what's inside the bottle. It could even leave the smallest footprint on our waters by using powder, power filled packets that break down instead of plastic that pollutes. And it could be fun to wash with, um, feel like nothing else out there and always smell amazing. So they are eco-friendly, you know, they're trying to reduce packaging um, and the packaging that they do have, they say that it breaks down. Um, and I applaud that mission. Um, but in my own use of this, so I've been, I think it's been about two weeks now or maybe about a week and a half that I've been trying to use this product. Um, and basically, you know what, let's just, I don't like it. I don't. Let's just get to the root of it. Um, I'm, I, listening, looking at the, reading the mission on the website still doesn't really explain to me the product. Um, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it this way. So when you look at the U body website, they have these various, um, body washes, right? They come in various, um, fragrances. They are hypoallergenic, sulfate free, sulfite free, and paraben free. Also, 5% of their proceeds support water.org, which is fantastic. And they um, recommend here, you know, they encourage people to please recycle. So this is cardboard. This is, you know, some kind of cardboard. I don't see this biodegrading per se by itself. Um, and then each inside each of these fragrances. So this is clean. This is awake. These are the five that I picked. So you pick five scents to come with your package in the starter package. Um calm, balance, and escape. And they have a few more on the website that you can pick from and you can even take a quiz on their website to see which fragrances, I guess, would align best with you based on the way you answer the questions on the quiz. Um, so what you do is you take a packet, you can mix any three, and this is what is not clear to me. So they say, say mix any three fragrance packets in your U body pod here, right? So any three, which is what I did, these ones that are open are the three that I tried. And I will say that the fragrances by themselves smell amazing. They're good. It's a very fine powder though. I'd be, you know, I, I wouldn't try to breathe it in too hard or smell it too hard. Um, and it looks like it's made from, you know, they've got the ingredients back here, um, which don't actually look like I mean, they say it's phthalate free and all that kind of stuff, but the chemicals back here are kind of, you know, heavy in their name. You know, when people look at products, they want to, and they want to make sure that it's a clean um, product that they don't want to see sodium copal glutamate, you know, like that it's heavy, right? That's, you're like, eh, is that, is that good for me? Is that safe? So that's the thing about the ingredients that they've got listed back here. It's like, how do you really know that this is good for me? Like sodium benzoate and tricalcium phosphate and the heart, you know, like cocoa butter, the cocoa butter, you know, but um, even when you, they use tocopherol instead of vitamin E, you know, I know that tocopherol is vitamin E, but the average person reading that's like, the heck is tocopherol, right? So anyway, but you put three of these packets into your little pod here and um put add some water i'll show you the pod put three into this pod this screw comes unscrewed i'm not going to take it off because i actually have water and powders in here that i mixed that i've been trying to use you t twist this off put water empty all three packets in there and twist this top back on okay individually like i said the powders smell great once i got them all in here and i was trying to use it i didn't really like the smell it like they all kind of meshed together and it just smelled like men's cologne like it was a strong men's cologne it's like i don't want to smell like men's cologne all day 
then once you get the powders in here and the water, there's a button. And I guess you push the button and you're supposed to scrub and lather and get this wonderful scent and do all this fantasticness, okay? This is the other issue that I had with it. I'm gonna look at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything here. So if the premise of you body is that you want and you want people to be able to create their own individual fragrances, you know, by mixing these qualities that they're looking for, clean, balanced, awaken. If that's what you are trying to do, then I think that just mixing these three or two, and like I said, was saying that it's, it's unclear. I guess you could use one packet if you didn't want to mix all three, right? Um, I guess you could mix two if you didn't want to mix all three. Um, but it's not clear on the website if you have to mix all three or if you can just use one or two at a time. Um, that was a question that I had. The other thing that, um, oh, it does say woman owned here. Sorry, you see, I get easily distracted. <laughs> it is woman owned. So I, like I said, the founder is a woman. Her name is Heather, but it is woman owned. It says on their packaging there. Um, the other thing that I didn't like about this is that, to, so, the, this is bulky, right? So you're in the shower. So after you've screwed this back on and you're in the shower, unless you have large hands, and most women don't have that large of a hand, um, this is this is bulky and cumbersome. And it took me a long time. It, it, I wasn't sure if I squeezed this continuously while I'm lathering or if I squeeze it occasionally, um, but I had a really hard time getting it to lather and really foam up so that I could wash consistently um the other thing was that it it because it takes a while and this is so bulky it hurts your hand like it's not easy to grip this whether you're pushing it continuously which would make it worse or intermittently it's hard to hold and wash yourself like it's awkward it's not it's not um intuitive it's not natural like if you just had a loofah by itself take this top part off you know, you can hold it and squeeze it and scrub and get into all the crevices. But with this, it makes it really, um, really odd and kind of a hassle to scrub with it. I found myself, I would try to use it every day and I found myself using it for a minute. I would get frustrated that it wasn't foaming enough um, for me to actually wash. My hand would start to hurt and cramp from holding it like this. And then I would just put it down and I would get my regular loofah or a washcloth and some soap and wash and be done with it. It just, it seemed like it took too long to try to use this. Um, if you did want to do the customized scent things, why couldn't you just have like a little spray bottle or squirt bottle and dump the powders in there with some water, shake it up and then squeeze that on your loofah or washcloth and wash with it. If you are trying to create that individual scent experience, right? Um, that's what I would do. In fact, I, I'll probably do that with the rest of them because I wouldn't want to want these to go to waste. I'll probably give them to my husband because like I said, they smell more manly when you combine them. Um, or I might just use them each individually um, to get one fragrance instead of, you know, doing, I think it's too many fragrances at once when you combine all three. And I don't know that when you combine all three that it adds any extra like cleaning benefit like you need all three to create a full um cleansing product as a you know like when you eat when you're vegan or vegetarian and you need to eat the right amount of proteins to like build up an entire protein I don't know if this works like that like you have to have all three to get an actual cleansing product I don't know that I wish that was better explained on the website but the other thing is too, so yeah, this packaging, they want you to recycle. They want the, what did they say? They want this to be able to break down, but then they've got this plastic, you know? And it's like, and it's a weird plastic because if you were done with this, what do you do with this? Like there, I don't see any other use for it. Like, how do you throw this away? Can you, do you recycle this part? Um, this seems like, like a PVC pet maybe type of plastic to me. I'm not certain. Um, this feels more like, uh, like a fake silicone-ish type of material. Not sure. I just, I, I, I just don't like this. I don't like the look of it. I, it's, it just, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me and it's not intuitive for showering. Um, I, I like what they're trying to do, I think. I, but it, it doesn't work for me. 
it, it just doesn't I don't like it I don't like I said it's cumbersome it's bulky um, I don't like mixing all three fragrances um, I think that you could just pour in any of these into a spray bottle and um, put it on your loofah or washcloth and do it like that um, this extra packaging is just it, it does nothing for me. The other thing is that this starter package, like I said, I got it for free because they were doing a promotional giveaway on Instagram. Um, but the starter package is $50, right? So if I had paid $50 for this starter package and $8 and some change for shipping, I would have been upset because this was, this, I, I don't like it that much. I don't like it enough to have paid $50. Um, other people might have another opinion on it. Obviously, everybody has varying opinions, but this is my personal opinion on using this product. It just, it's its a miss. Um, I think they should go back to the drawing board on this and um, maybe, you know, try some different fragrance. You know, if you are more of somebody that likes a girly or a tropical fragrance, this, you know, these aren't really for you. Um, even the Escape, the Escape, like I said, they're nice individually, but they're not... They're, they they just don't do it for me. So let me know what you think. Have you guys tried U-Body? What are your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you find it hard to use? Um, yeah, let's, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it because I, I'm sorry, but I just do not like it. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys learned enough about the U-Body to make an informed decision. If you do end up trying it, let me know what you end up thinking. Um, but it's just, it's not the product for me. So thank you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon.